Okay, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, hopefully we are good to go. Okay, yeah, looks like we're good. So thank you very much for everybody for joining. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat. Um, we're going to try and keep within our 30 minute window here. Um, so we're going to move right along. And then uh, at the end, I will share some contact information so that you can feel free to send some questions that you might have after the fact. So, so my name is Kevin Peterman from Liberty AV's product team. And what we're going to be focusing on today is uh, education um, and, and the products and services and solutions that we have focused on education. Um, hopefully it'll be beneficial. And again, feel free to uh, type some questions in the chat. And I'll do my best to get to them. Anything that I don't get, I'll try and uh, get back to you after the, after the meeting. So Moving right along here. So this is really what we're after is, is that I think everybody's you know on board and otherwise you wouldn't be on this call um, to, to learn about technology and to look at the ways that we can enhance classrooms, right? Um, technology is known to improve learning and you know it's really the way that the things are moving uh, in, in classrooms all over the globe these days. Uh, but there's challenges, right? There's a lot of budgetary challenges and different things. And this particular slide really kind of says it all, right? This is trying to find this middle area when we're talking about classroom technology can be a challenge. How can we create products as an industry that fit that that, that solve a problem, that fit a need, uh, that are easy to use, right? Uh, so that a teacher can use them and not rely on a, uh, a technical person, but that also hit a great price point and have a great value. Right. Oftentimes in the world of technology, in the world of a lot of different industries, these things are very difficult to accomplish. You know, the, the old saying, if you have to pick pick two. Right. But uh, we, we've put a, taken a lot of pride and put a lot of effort into creating products that do indeed hit these, that have a great value, solve a problem and that are easy to use. A couple other statistic slides before we kind of get into the product themselves is that 60 uh, percent of the AV technology in classrooms today is used for interactive collaboration and 40% for content sharing. We're going to talk about our products and how they fit into that and, um, and kind of the, 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 the use cases and, and the, uh, you know, the opportunities that are out there. 90% of classrooms are going online in one way, shape, or form. Now this, this could be as simple as using something like Google Classroom uh, to, to send videos and learning types of materials to students uh, wherever they might be. But it could also be more advanced, things like remote learning, hybrid learning, blended distance learning, and so on. All right, so we're going to talk about that a little bit as well as we move on. So who are we? Uh, Liberty AV, these, these four sections over here really kind of focuses in on what section of this we're going to do. We're not solving the entire classroom, right? Mostly what we are focused on and, and the history of Liberty is based around connectivity. So we're, we're a product company, we're a manufacturer that develop, designs, develops and produces uh, electronics products that are designed for signal extension, routing, switching and things like that. Uh, a relatively new over the last few years addition to our uh, product portfolio is software. Things like um, campus-wide monitoring software and uh, remote management software, control software, things like that. Wire and cable, this is where we started. So the connectivity, right? All the electronics don't matter if you don't have a good backbone of wire and cable. This is where Liberty started three decades ago is in the wire and cable. And we are the most recognized uh, brand of wire and cable in the audio video industry. And last but certainly not least is logistics. Right, so you have your standard logistics of how are we going to get the product from point A to point B. But I think what you'll also see is, is that we, you know, we have a global footprint. Uh, we we have the ability, um, whether it's just through the folks here at Liberty or through our parent and sister companies under the Wesco umbrella, to be able to deliver products and services all over the globe. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of our value add services that we have as well. So with that said, we're going to kind of get into how on the next slide, we're going to get into how we like to separate uh, the products and the way that we like to think about products as it relates to education. What we've done is we've created kind of three buckets or segments, if you will, uh, that, that we feel best defines and makes it easy to wrap your head around the types of products and, the, and, the, and what, they're, what we're trying to accomplish with these products. The first segment and, or bucket is what we call content share. Right, so content sharing is, is, is quite simple, right? This is just that we're, we're trying to get something from, from a source, most likely a laptop, but it could be a Blu-ray player, it could be a document camera or something like that, 
up to a larger screen so that we can share it with a, a bigger group of people like students, right? So a more simple uh, explanation is I'm trying to get the teacher's laptop from the laptop screen up to a big screen on the front of the TV so that that teacher can, can, can teach their lesson. We sell thousands and thousands of classrooms every year of just trying to accomplish this of just, hey, I need a longer run. I just need HDMI. I need VGA is still out there, right? How can I, how can I accomplish this? And what we've done is we've developed three different segments, basic, intermediate, and advanced within the content sharing bucket, right? Basic uh, is really quite simple. It, we're talking about passive type products, uh, wire and cable and plates and panels. We have a division of our company called Panel Crafters that's based in Phoenix, Arizona, that produces some of the industry's best uh, wall plates, custom as far as uh, custom, standard, uh, panels, things like that, and can, can design and, and build any type of wall plate that might be needed, bundle that together with some standard uh, off-the-shelf cables, and you have the ability to get a, a, a very simple room where you're doing some content sharing. Over the last five years, there's been a massive movement up from this basic buck, uh, uh, segment up to the intermediate segment. And that's because it's much, people are trying to look for ways to simplify the installation, pull fewer cables, certainly pull fewer of the garden hose size cables, big thick cables, uh, and future-proof their rooms as best as possible. So now what we're looking at is, is, the, is some simple extension solutions, right? I just wanna pull one cat six, and, I, and oh, by the way, I wanna be able to support 4K resolution as well. So we've, again, thousands and thousands of rooms every year that we, that we sell into that meet this need. And again, it could be any type of uh, device. Most commonly a laptop, but also document cameras, portable devices, and so on. And then advanced within content sharing is basically the same idea as intermediate, but we're now giving multiple inputs. So maybe we're doing two inputs of HDMI that can auto switch back and forth. Maybe we're doing an HDMI and a VGA. So take a little bit of a deeper dive or a closer look, I should say, at, at what we're talking about here. You know, when we're, when we're talking about that basic uh, standpoint, there's a, there's a couple really popular technologies uh, that, that we've had a lot of success with. One is our active optical cables, um, active or passive cables, but active optical cables, as well as, like I said, our panel crafter offering, right? Very simple. It's a, it's a budget-friendly way to, to kind of get the job done. Um, Probably not the best way if you're looking for the best uh, tech, technology way, but it's again, it's a, it's a budget friendly solution. Um, and, and it's certainly better than not, not doing any content sharing at all. From there, when we step into the intermediate and advanced, we start to look at products that are built around HD base T and other types of ex signal extension technology. So you can see we've got a nice offering that goes anywhere from uh, low cost, simple HDMI only extension on up through 4K extension, and then on up through multiple inputs of extension, right? So again, think about it from a use case standpoint. Think about that you might have the teacher's laptop and a document camera, and he or she may want to be able to very easily just connect and switch back and forth between those two without having to play with a remote or touch the TV buttons or do anything else, right? So again, very simple uh, and, and get you kind of from that basic to intermediate up to advanced in the content sharing. From there, we move into what has become, from, a, from kind of a category standpoint, what has become the dominant category in classrooms, and that is what we call interactive sharing. Um, and, and basically what we're doing here is we're doing all of the same things that we did with content sharing, where we're still trying to show that laptop up on the screen, but now we're introducing USB, right? And the reason we're introducing USB is there's typically an interactive display here. It might be smart, it might be Promethean, it could be any number of you know, uh, clear touch, clever touch, all of these different interactive displays, whether it's a, a direct view display or whether it's a projector, there's lots of different options. But the one thing that's consistent is that we need to get USB back from that display to the teacher's laptop or to whatever computing device is running the software that needs to interact with that said display, right? USB is a challenge because USB natively, USB 2, natively can only go about five meters over a copper cable. So, you know, if, if you think about that, you know, we're talking about 16 feet, five meters, 16 feet of length. That's, that's very difficult to deal with, especially when, if the teacher's desk doesn't sit directly below that display. So now we need to extend that and still have the content sharing. So similar to what we showed before, we've developed basic, intermediate, and advanced again. 
So with basic, what we're doing here is we're doing essentially the same thing as we did in the basic, where we're just getting that content sharing up, but we're also uh, extending USB. So we have an HDMI and a USB wall plate. In the intermediate, we're doing that plus some things. We're doing some things like adding a second input or third input sometimes. Um, we're adding USB-C into it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, speak a little bit more to USB-C in a couple minutes uh, because it's actually a very important technology for education. And then in advanced, we have kind of the, you can have all of it, right? We have things like microphone inputs, audio amplification, um, a, a mute relay for the emergency paging system to be able to mute, control, the campus-wide monitoring, right? So we've got all of these things that all fall under the interactive sharing. And, and let's, take a, let's take a quick look here at some of the specific products. So as we kind of get started, we're going to start with this guy right here. This is our number one top selling extender device. And again, it's driven by education and primarily K through 12, although higher education um, oftentimes when they, you know, especially community colleges, smaller classrooms, things like that have very, very similar classroom technology. So here, once again, we've got an HDMI and a USB and an audio signal that can now travel up to 70 meters as well as support 4K and give myself the connectivity for the uh, interactive display, as well as one other USB device, like a, like a camera or something like that. Um, from there, we get to a slightly more advanced, right? So now we're up into that advanced bucket that we talked about, where we've got multiple inputs plus USB, and then all over here with our ARK system, even control. So I want to I want to you know point out a couple things about this. Um, one of the things that we that we've done in this series of products is to give some um, simple automation, right? So again, one thing that we've heard over and over again, and that I pointed out on one of the first few slides, is the ease of use, right? A lot if 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 a system requires multiple steps to turn on to get to the right input or whatever it might be, that can become a challenge for teachers and can especially become a challenge if that teacher is out that day and there's a substitute, right? Now there either has to be a written list of how to work the system or whatever it might be. All of these three products that you see right here have the ability to power on the TV or the, or the interactive display, the interactive projector, whatever it might be, um, just simply by connecting. So the act of the teacher walking in, turning on his or her laptop, connecting the HDMI is, is all that's required to then power on, right? So that's, it's pretty powerful. And then again, now we're expanding our inputs as well. So now we have four USB connections up at the display. So we could definitely do things like interactive display plus a simple web camera, right? Um, over here at the ARK, I'm actually gonna speak to this a little bit more detail in two slides here. So, um, so I'm not gonna cover that right now, but I do want to give you one quick product introduction of a product that's coming soon before we move on. This wall plate extender um, is a USB-C focused wall plate extender that's in development is actually um, will be landing in the uh, in our US based warehouses uh, within the next 30 to 60 days and will be available for sale. So kind of a quick quick stat that I was that I found is that Google estimates about 60 to 70 million Chromebooks are used in education worldwide, right? Now that's including all the students and things like that, but that's but but think about how many that is. And if you've if you've taken a look at Chromebooks lately over the last few years, you'll see that most of them have um, well, actually I would say almost all of them have a USB C port, and many of them have only a USB C port, right? We're seeing that same thing with uh, Windows based laptops as well, and Mac has as well has gone to uh, USB C as a, as a dominant um, input output. All right. Uh, the challenge there is, is that a lot of times that means people have to use adapters and start stacking adapters and so on. So what this wall plate allows these educators to do is a true single cable connect connection. So now that teacher only needs to worry about connecting his or her USB-C cable directly into this plate. If they need more USB ports, you have them right here on the plate, right? So maybe they've got a local microphone for a remote session or something like that, uh, an extra hub, it's built right into the plate. And then there's a charging port. So the charger that came with the laptop will be able to connect and provide power to that connected Chromebook or laptop. So we're pretty excited about this product. It's very affordable and will give again, the ability to extend the signal up to 70 meters and that single USB-C connection back to that laptop for most applications. I also want to put a little bit of a highlight, uh, kind of stop real quick and put a spotlight on the ARK system. 
So this ARK that I focused or, or that I showed a couple minutes ago is a three piece system that's available in two different styles, one that has VGA and one that's HDMI. Um, this is a busy slide that's taken out of some of the literature that I'll share with you guys later, but I just wanted to show that it was available and that we have line drawings and so on. But the reason I'm spotlighting this is that we, we developed this in-house, actually. This was a Liberty Design um, product that, uh, you know, that we're very proud of because we put a, a, an immense amount of effort in about two and a half years, three years ago. It's had um, a handful of upgrades through firmware and software, just kind of keeping up with evolving uh, display technology and changes in the interactive display world, uh, but it's incredibly relevant in classrooms, both higher education and K through 12. But there have been some direct uh, copies that have done, um, quite frankly, a, a very nice job of marketing that have hit the market uh, very recently. And so we just kind of wanted to point out the fact that this was, uh, you know, this is something that we're very proud of and that we brought to market and is truly a Liberty Design product. So when you start seeing some that look awfully similar, you, you can be confident that you know, you know who to talk to if you want really the true design details. So let us know about the ARK if you have any question. Again, very powerful three-piece product that has an input wall plate, um, a receiver that has a fourth input, audio amplifier, microphone input, control, and then what's really cool is, is a no-cost included ARK manager software so that uh, somebody from a centralized point in that school can see the status and can control firmware update, anything that they want to do, every single device on that network. So moving out of that uh, interactive display bucket into the third bucket is, is this is kind of where it starts to get uh, blurry between the higher education and K-12, right? Higher education, we've seen there, again, everything we talked about so far is relevant in higher education, but higher education has other things going on, as many of you are well aware. So here's where we kind of have that bringing your classroom spaces on, uh, online. Over the last two years, this became extremely relevant in K through 12 because of the, the COVID pandemic and, and students of all ages having to uh, do schooling from, from home or remotely or wherever they were. And so there was a big scramble in 2020 and 2021 to outfit classrooms of all types, of all types of schools at all levels and all grade levels and so on with cameras and hubs and microphones and so on. Uh, higher education, universities, colleges and so on have been doing this for many years, uh, but even they drastically expanded for the same reasons and have continued to expand. So, um, so we're just kind of pointing out that we have the products that not only the peripheral products that you're seeing here, but the ability to tie it all together with the infrastructure and, and the hubs and so on. And I'll touch on that here in a second. Once again, we did basic, intermediate, and advanced. So again, simple USB peripherals in the basic bucket, intermediate as we step up. So, uh, uh, you know, a higher quality speaker microphone, PTZ cameras and hubs and so on. But the, and then the ultimate challenge with all of this, with bringing it online, is, is to create the true interconnected classroom. And interconnected is the term that we're using for essentially tying everything together that we just talked about, right? So how can I do content sharing plus interactive collaboration in, in the classroom plus bring it online so that if there's somebody remote, maybe it's maybe it's not maybe it has nothing to do with remote learning, but maybe it's just uh, campus to campus, right? As many of you are aware, you know, larger universities have many different campuses. You can tie together learning sessions through cameras and so on. And so, you know, again, Liberty has the products to do that. And, and the important piece to take away from, from all of this is that the infrastructure and the connectivity and, um, and the signal extension is critical here, right? So USB can be, can be complicated. Right. It was designed for keyboards and printers and mice. Right. It was designed for very, very local, short distance, hardwired cable. Right. So so the to, to extend USB, it can become complicated and it takes a lot of um, figuring out on companies like Liberty uh, End and, and some of our partners to to figure out how to do it correctly. So you, you, you want to kind of not take for granted USB extension and signal extension, and just make sure that you have the proper cabling, the proper signal extension, the proper um, you know, signal splitting and routing and so on when you're trying to do all of these different things, right? I'll give you one specific example. Uh, there's a, a very well-known interactive display manufacturer um, that just because of revisions of their own software 
has created glitches in the in the USB connectivity three separate times that we have we and all of our competitors that do USB extension have had to quickly pivot and figure out. And we're proud to say that in each of those we've been we've been the first to you know to to address how do we now extend that company's USB signals. So um, so again, let us know. We've got a very deep deep line of USB um, and and signal extension products. Speaking to higher higher education specifically, um, wanted to point out a few other things here that kind of go outside of the classroom. So higher education, as you're all very well aware, universities and colleges have classrooms that are that are essentially identical to K through 12, right, to primary school learning. Um, however, they have a whole other set of needs that go out, uh, above and beyond uh, what what a what a K through 12 school. A primary school would you know would require so again all of what we just talked about in the classroom you know collaboration interactive collaboration content sharing everything they're getting all of that into the smaller classrooms but what about when they have a very large lecture hall that has a massive projector right and maybe stadium seating in some of these larger uh, lecture halls um, in some of those cases they need um, a traditional presentation switcher something that can automatically switch between two, three, four different sources. Maybe the, maybe the professor's laptop, a document camera, maybe a camera that's in the room or somewhere else. It could be any number of sources. Um, what about if they wanna show multiple of those things on that one projector at the same time, right? So our Digital Link series is the series uh, of products that is our extender and switcher products. So we have a, just as the example that we're using here now, is we have a presentation switcher with multi-view that is very relevant in a lecture hall for some of these more traditional lecture hall spaces where this could live in the lectern and extend that signal up to 70 meters. We have AV over IP that can go all over the campus for offices, common areas, hallways, bookstores, stadiums, right? It goes on and on and on, cafeterias, Right, um, we've got three series of AV over IP that can be scaled to any size to do video distribution. We've been doing this for nearly seven years. Right, we've had many, many updates, as many of you are aware over those years. And last but certainly not least is that higher education has a great opportunity for our Team Up Plus series. Team Up Plus series is our series of collaboration products. It includes cameras and microphones and so on, but it also includes some very unique switcher hubs. So these are products that are audio video switchers and USB switchers and hubs all built in to one product. These are perfect for UC spaces that we're starting to see pop up all over universities as well. We've actually outfitted um, some of the smaller versions of this in what, what some people are calling uh, video booths, which are a small one or two seat video collaboration type booths or, or, or small spaces or cubicles or whatever you wanna call them all the way up through full boardrooms and UC spaces, sim very similar to what you would see in, in a commercial audio video application. So again, some very unique products that live in our Team Up Plus series. Um, and I would, I would strongly suggest engaging with us if, if you have opportunities. Again, just to give you kind of an idea of how something like this might work, you could have a dedicated space where it is a Zoom room or a Teams room that's dedicated that way and give the ability for a user to walk into that space connect with the cable to their own device and seamlessly take over the peripheral such as the camera and the microphone and launch a different meeting like uh, WebEx or, or BlueJeans or something else um, without disrupting, without disconnecting or doing anything to that room and, and have it all go back to normal when they disconnect. So again, lots of that we're seeing happen in the higher education space that was traditionally dominated by commercial AV. Bringing it all together, uh, this is uh, you know where the services and some of the things that we're doing behind the scenes come in. Custom kitting we've been doing for well over a decade now. Um, it was driven by the K through 12 space because the education space in general is very repetitive when it comes to what's going on, right? You might have 20, 100, 300, or last year we had two separate projects that each had over 1500 rooms per project where all the rooms are either the same or a slight deviation of it. And so each of those kits might have five, 10, 15, 20 different pieces in the bill of materials. So this is as simple as us collecting those products, bundling them into a single part number, single SKU and shipping it out. And again, that can be electronics, wire and cable, adapters, um, connectors, hardware, uh, things like you know, nuts and bolts and all kinds of different things. 
We have an, our LIS system for consume, uh, which is our um, which is our consigned inventory program for some of our integration partners that are on the call today. And then again, this is probably too small for you to read, but this is one example that we on the product team have been building out. We've got quite a few already built and we're continuing to build these, these um, internal matrix uh, documents. So this particular one is just comparing the uh, education focused uh, wall plate signal extenders that we just talked about so that you can see the max resolution, the max distance that it can run and so on. And um, these, these are available for USB extenders. We have a new one for our new HDMI cable uh, series uh, and so on. So uh, stay tuned for these. And again, you'll see these pop up in a lot of our literature moving forward. Just kind of pointing out again, I pointed this out ori originally, the global presence. Uh, Liberty AV, we're a manufacturer, but we are part of a much larger organization of Wesco Annexter. So uh, if you're familiar with Wesco or Annexter, we have the, you know, the ability to get your products in your area. And as you can see, again, uh, we're, we're, we're certainly a global presence. So that's, that's, the, um, that's the primary uh, uh, data for today. I want to finish it up by pointing out some, some uh, kind of just important uh, housekeeping type of things here, which is that sales and pricing info. Um, you, what you want to do is, is work with your local Liberty rep or call our 800 number and we'll make sure you get in touch with your local Liberty rep. They can give you quotes or prices or work with you on demos or anything else that you need. Product questions, that's uh, my team. Uh, and so product questions are pre-sale support. So those are, you know, hey, I'm trying to accomplish this. What's the right product? Or this is the uh, USB extender I've used in the past. What's your most similar comparison or so on? Anything that's pre-sale product support, you can use this email. And this comes to the entire product team. And the person who is, uh, you know, most familiar with your question or the best suited to answer it will reply uh, in, a, in a timely fashion. Uh, and then and then finally, I wanted to point out warranty information. All of our electronics, uh, Team Up Plus, DigiIP, uh, Digital Links, all five-year advanced replacement and wire and cable lifetime warranty. Um, so again, we're trying to make sure that our customers are taken care of. Uh, we understand and we've heard very, very loud and clear from the uh, education side of the uh, uh, of the industry that you know we need to be quick with replacements if there is ever a problem. Um, again, most of our products have very low failure rates, but it, you know this it makes the schools feel much better with that. So, with that said, um, looks like we came within 60 seconds of our half hour meet. So, I wanted to thank everybody uh, for joining today. Hopefully, you found some benefit. Again, my name is Kevin Peterman. Feel free to uh, reach out using this product at libav.com email. Um, and uh, again, we thank you very much for your time today. This will be recorded. We'll post it uh, and we'll, we're, we'll be happy to share it if you, um, if you have any further questions. Thank you very much once again, everybody, and have a great day.